Welcome to Miami. Bienvenidos a Miami. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Joey Z. Welcome to another edition of Joey Z Delivers. My longtime viewers, welcome back to my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Monday, September 12th, and we are starting the week off strong. I was going to give you guys the day off from watching me, uh, from watching my shift. I was just not going to record it, but I said, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because I was watching a video from ET, Eric Thomas, talking about his routine, and he was ha he was having a conversation with Roy Warren Buffett, one of the richest person, one of the richest people in the world, that he got he got to where he's at by his routine, and I want to continue my routine. I'm, I'm pumping out this video so I can blow up in the YouTube world, and I recommend anybody that wants to blow up in anything they want to have a routine, do it every single day, like if life depends on it. So we're just gonna go to downtown. This 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 is gonna be my plan. I'm gonna go to downtown to spice it up a little bit, to change it up, you know. I wanna see if downtown is good after the diamond car update. I have not returned. I used to go there every day, but I stopped going there because in downtown there's nothing but two dollar tippers and I'd rather do two dollar tip orders, which is ten, eleven, twelve dollars, you know, not downtown, not all these high rises. But I wanna switch it up, see if maybe something changed, maybe if uh, people have a change of heart. So we'll see what happens out there. We're going to go to downtown. And I'm pumped up, guys. Welcome to another week of the Juizy Deliver Live. I am, okay, I have a, an announcement to make on September 25. I'm going to, that's going to be my next live. It's going to be a, uh, my one year anniversary from the YouTube life. I started my YouTube channel. I opened it up September 24. So, uh, and then uh, last year, so September 24th, this year is on a Saturday. I'm gonna do it on the Sunday night, which is what I think it was Sherry that recommended me to do it on a Sunday. So, I'm gonna do it Sunday night, September uh, 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, stay tuned for the announcement. But you know what, guys? Let's get the, the party started. I'm pumped up, guys. I'm pumped up for another week. Let's get it started. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me grow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video at the end and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe for my people. Let's get started. Let's make that cash. Let's go. All right. The time is 942. And let's start our shift. We're going to drive to downtown right now. And if we get an order on the way to downtown, we will take it. Instacart only. And, uh, oh, I wanted to tell you guys something. If you guys saw my video two videos ago where I left the chicken in my trunk for the customer, I will update on that. The customer gave me a two-star rating and did the missing item report, the missing chicken. And I had a, my rating went down to 4.94 yesterday. And then this morning it was removed. Uh, so now I'm, a, I'm at a five-star again. But you know what, guys? The last time I did the, uh, I, I forgot something. The customer just gave me a, a missing item, but they didn't rate me low. So I think that this customer was just kind of mad because she gave me uh, an ID to scan her wine, and then I was looking at it. I'm like, oh, what is this? Is this a, is this a license? She's like, no, it's a, it's an ID from Colombia. It was a, like a Colombian ID, and I'm like, okay. And I'm looking at it, and I was kind of like staring at it. I was like, oh, is the is the birthday in here? The date of birth? She's like, and she's like, yeah, the the, the birthday's in there. You, you have glasses, right? I have my glasses on. So she was being a smart, you know what? So I think she got offended that I was like questioning her ID. So I think that's why she gave me a two star, not because of the missing chicken. But you know what? She should have gave me a one star because I wouldn't mind not delivering to this person ever again. But uh, but since she gave me a two star, I might deliver to her again. So yeah, there's that. But it's all good in the hood, guys. I mean, hey, it is what it is. We can't control people's emotions. Let's continue, or not continue. We haven't even started. All right, let's start the grind. Let's go, guys. Check out the first order that I that I saw of the day here in downtown. I just made it to downtown. It's 10:09 in the morning, and it's a no tip order. Ten dollars, thirty items to uh, one of the high rises here with ocean view. So no tip, not even a two dollar tip. So there you go, guys. That's the that's the downtown Miami life. All right, it is ten seventeen in the morning. So we are waiting for batches, and let's eat though. Let's have some lunch, early lunch. We got ground beef, ground beef, or I think it could be ground turkey. And then we got we got pasta here. We're gonna mix it up, and we got some broccoli. And you already know where we're gonna put this. We're gonna, what we're gonna put on this. We're gonna put this on everything. Frank's Rick hot sauce. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Hold on, let me let me put it here on camera. Oh, that's a lot. 
Oh yeah. All right, let's eat. All right, the time is 10.20 and we accepted our first order of the day. It is a $13 order for 11 items. But let's finish up here and then we get the party started. Let's go do it. All right, we are back in the downtown Publix. I haven't been here in a long time. Let's see if uh, if it if it picked up. Let's go. All right, it's been 11 minutes and we are done, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is what I did. Instead of contacting cust the customer, what I did was the customer requested two of these but they only had one more. So I got the six to eight, and then I got one eight to 12, and I got this first, so the customer hasn't said anything. Another thing is that the customer wanted five of these yogurts, and then I, and they only had two, so I put like, oh, I cannot find, and it said that if, there, if they don't have, then they wanted a refund. So I guess they just wanted this flavor. So it's either this flavor or nothing. So I just gave them two, and uh, that's it. We don't have to contact the customer. Let's uh, let's deliver this. We should be good to go. Let's go. All right, we got a few bags here. Let's go deliver this. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna use our handy dandy wagon wagon for basically every order. This downtown. Let's go. All right, so I used to take uh, ten dollar orders here in downtown for like a, a few a few items, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm only gonna take twelve. So I'm gonna increase my my parameter to twelve dollars instead of ten dollars because. Going up and down these elevators it has to be twelve dollars, guys. Twelve and up. All right, the time is ten fifty-eight. We completed that thirteen dollar order for I forgot how many items. Let's continue. Let's go, baby. The time is eleven oh five. We accepted a sixteen dollar order. What for four items, man? That's the best. Hey, I usually never get. I've been getting. I usually get a lot of ten dollar orders, and now that I that I put my foot put my foot on the on the floor, or is that how the saying goes? I put my foot down and I told you, I told Instacart, Instacart, I'm not accepting nothing under 12. That's when they started blessing me with these $16 orders. That's good, guys. 16 plus 13. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. So the parking lot is full. So I have to, I'm ha I have to enter through the back. So, but let's go get this. All right. It's been 10 minutes and we are done. Uh, it took some time because first, first the, cu uh, the customer was telling me to leave this with the employees and this with the concierge. And I was like, yeah, yeah, no problem. And also they didn't have the regular one. So she's like, hey, just replace with anything. I'm like, all right, perfect. All right, so I replaced with this one. This one, actually, I might taste it myself. But let's go pay for this and deliver. All right, so we got everything here. Just a few bags. And I was, uh, as I was texting with the customer, customer was like, oh, do this and that. I was like, yeah, yeah, no problem. And I'm like, oh, I might as well take advantage and, and tell her to have the ID ready, just in case, you know, because I had to get her some wine. And I was like, oh, also ID, please, with a happy face to make it seem like it's, you know, I guess like I'm not forcing her like it's not a, a demand like I'm being I'm I'm politely asking and then she's like at 87 I always have my ID ready so I was I, I thought that was pretty funny uh so yeah let's go I guess she's 87 all right so let's go deliver this all right so the customer just said that the door of her unit is open so I'm gonna go inside the door blindly so if I don't release this video that means that some well you're not gonna hear this well, if, if I release this video, then I guess I survived. But if, uh, we'll see. We'll see if I get out of there safely. All right, the time, oh, this is some beautiful lighting. Oh my goodness, look at this lighting. All right, the time is 11.39. We completed that $16 order. I went inside the person's uh, house and I survived. She was, in her, she was in her chair watching the news and then I went to the kitchen, the ID was there, so I scanned it. That's it, and then I closed the door and I'm alive. All right, let's go. Let's go continue the hook. We're at 29 bucks. All right, just wanted to show you a piece of my city. This is, uh, I think I, the first delivery was to this high rise right here. And then this is the city. I'm in Brickle Ave. And this is downtown, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. All right, the time is 12, 10 p.m. and we accepted a $16 order for one item, but we have to go to another Publix, which is not that far away. But I wanted to stay here, but it's all good. It's for it's for seltzer beer. That's why I have to go to the other Publix for beer. So let's go there. It's like half a mile away. $16, one item, three units. Let's go. All right, we gotta get let's ourselves. Press the button for entrance. Yes, yes, I'm gonna press the button. Please Can wait. Take, take the ticket. All right, we gotta go into the garage with this one. In one minute and 14 seconds and we were done that's it it was just this uh high noon seltzer all right let's go pay for this and deliver all right we got just three little bags let's go make 16 dollars all right i'm walking to my destination i think it's right here on the right but check this out 
the city of Miami. Let's go. Pretty cool, huh? The Hyatt. Oh, it's a Hyatt. All right. Should be to my right. We'll see. All right. The time is 12.37 p.m. And we completed that $16 uh, order for one item and we are at 47 dollars and one and a half hours of active time not total time active time one and a half hours of act ladies and gentlemen that is so beautiful it is so beautiful that i'm going to show you this view oh my goodness i'm just looking at it right now and it's fantastic i'm gonna show you right right now actually let me show you let me do a little quick turn boom look at that look at that I'm gonna show you right now real quick. Welcome to Miami, bienvenidos a Miami. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Look at this. Fantastic. Fantastic. Imagine waking up to this ocean. Nice. All right, the time is 12.48 p.m. and we just got here and we accepted an order, $13 order for 15 items. Let's go get it. All right, we're coming in through the back again. Let's do this. All right, it's been eight minutes and we are halfway done. It shouldn't take us another eight minutes. I mean, I'm getting, remember, I'm getting these uh, fruits. I'm trying to get the best fruits here. So, but we should be done in less than eight minutes. We'll see. All right, let's go. All right, it's been 16 minutes and we are done, ladies and gentlemen. This uh, this took me longer than I'd like for it to take. 16 minutes is a little bit long, so by the time I deliver it, it may be a little bit over 30 minutes. And I, I like to do these orders in 30 minutes or less. But it's okay, guys. Uh, after this, we're going to be at what? 47 plus 13? That's uh, uh, 60 bucks. All right, let's go. All right, we got the package in the car. Let's deliver this. Let's do it. All right, we got we got to use our handy dandy wagon again. It's this is a fancy high rise that I'm delivering to. All right, let's go. All right, the time is 1:40 and we completed that $13 order for 15 items. So I was pushing it. It was less than two dollars an item, but it's all good. And the customer that I had to go inside their, her house, she gave me a increased tip and a smooth delivery compliment. So that's good. That's always good. It always makes always makes me feel good to get those compliments from the customers. Increased tip as well. All right, let's continue. We got colleagues over here working. It's a, it seems like a couple, but it's a co-workers of ours. We got some co-workers, some colleagues hustling, making it happen together. So I love to see the hustle couple. That's what I need. I need someone to. Uh, I need someone that that could be my tag team partner and uh, and be successful together and build a legacy, build an empire. You know. Oh, I have this, by the way. I have this thing, by the way, guys. All right, the time is 1.57 p.m. and we accepted a $12 order for five items. It seems like Instacart is spying on me and they heard me saying that I'm not gonna take anything that's under $12 and they keep feeding me the $12 small ones. I love it, let's go get it. All right, we have to go in through the back again, but let's go. All right, it's been three minutes and 40 seconds and we are done, let's go. That's, that's, that's how long it should be taking us to be, do these things. Not 16 minutes like the last order, but you know what? It's all good in the hood. We're gonna be happy and continue pay for this and deliver all right we got three little bags let's go deliver this make 12 bucks all right we have our handy dandy wagon here yep that's what you see you see this water oh my goodness this is so crazy got all this water all this beautiful houses i think this is the building that i have to go to um i could i could have parked in the valet but i wanted to I wanted to shoot this footage to show you guys a beautiful ocean. Oh, look at the pollution though. Right. Look at the pollution right there. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's beautiful, okay. Imagine living, would you guys live right there in that apartment right there? No, nah, if anything, I would live all the way on top. I mean, why would you want to live right here? Um, if you're gonna pay all that money, might as well pay for the, for the highest floor. But let's go guys, let's do it. All right, the time is 2.19 p.m. and we completed that $12 order for five items. We are at $73 at 2.19 p.m. Man, when I when I do good coming late, I, I always wish that I had started early so I could be at $100 already. But it's all good. I mean, maybe 
And it could be that a lot, a lot of times if I do start early, I don't get really that many batches until eight o'clock anyway. So if I don't start at seven and you know straight, then it's, I guess it's okay, you know. But let's continue the grind until let's say four or five p.m. Let's go. Hey guys, the time is 2.44 p.m. and we accepted a $13 order for five items, but I had to drive to another Publix because there's another beer. But it's all good, it's, uh, it's the same place as the last order. So it's half a mile away, let's go get it. All right, we are back. Let's get Please the ticket again. The button for yeah, entrance. yeah, I'm gonna press the button. Okay. Please wait. Yeah, I'm waiting. Take the ticket. Thank you. All right, so now this, this uh, order is taking longer than I'd like to. I have to get a, a medicine that I cannot find here. It's supposed to be in the foot care. And this is the foot care, there's nothing here. So, um, I don't know. Having a little bit of trouble. Look, the for foot care is supposed to be here. All right, we'll continue searching here for a, little, for a few more seconds. All right, guys, so it was in my face. It's just that the, the picture was a lot different. Okay, all right, but we got it, let's go. All right, this Publix is playing with me. All right, I got this, this liquid death water, it's kind of weird. And I was supposed to get some sparkling wine. I mean sparkling water and then I was, I was about to take pictures and say oh do you want a uh, do you want a, a replacement but then I found it over here guys look check it out I found it over here these guys are playing with me look and I'm gonna get they only asked for one but look if buy one get one free so I'm, I'm gonna give them two of them and then just I'm just gonna enter one on the, in the app and that's it but give them two all right it's been 18 minutes and we are done man these items are like items i've never shopped for before in my life this liquid death it wasn't that hard to find this this it said it was in the deli but then i had to use my my instacart skills it says that it was in the deli but in this publix the deli this is basically our one and i knew this was like in the fancy in the fancy cheese which is over there in the fancy cheese section so we got it and what else this prune juice didn't have it and then this thing i've never seen before but hey we got it. Not every order is going to be perfect. So let's pay for this and deliver. All right, we got our little items right here. Let's go deliver. All right, we're going to use our handy dandy wagon and check out the city of Miami. Everywhere. Cool. All right, the time is 3.30 and we completed that $13 order for five items. We are at $86, almost at 100. Let's go. All right, the time is 3.42 p.m. We are at $86 and I'm gonna have some lunch. And while I have lunch, I'm gonna look for, for orders. And if I don't get an order by the time I'm done eating this, then we will start going home and we'll take an order, I guess, uh, going home, I guess, you know, on the way home. But this, I'm gonna put this on everything as usual and let's eat. Oh, what is this? This is brown rice. This is uh, chicken. All right, let's go. All right, the time is 3.55 and we are done. And we're gonna start going home because we're done eating and we didn't get any orders. And I don't wanna be here for when everybody leaves their job at five o'clock. So we're gonna start driving out of downtown. And if we get an order on the way, we will take it, but let's go. All right, the time is 4.28 p.m. And we accepted our last order of the day. It is a $14 order for eight miles. And it's a Publix that is closer to where I live because I'm, I'm already driving out of downtown. So let's go get it, $14, eight items, let's go. All right, we are coming in from the back again different Publix let's go all right it's been 14 minutes and we are done look this is what we have we have a case of water we have some cleaning products we have some cat food we got more cat food we got some dog food and we got some bird food let's go get it it seems like uh customers with pets tip tip more tip them. I, I don't know guys I'm just assuming because the last remember the Petco order the tip was like $25 and this is $14 for eight items. I think the tip is good. So I guess pet owners are good tippers, I guess. I don't know. All right, we got everything in the car. Let's deliver this and finish off the day. All right, the time is 4.58 p.m. and we completed that $14 order for five, eight items. It is five o'clock. It's like my nine to five, guys, nine to five. Even though I, I did start work late, but I didn't have to call my boss and say, hey boss, I'm coming in late. Cause we're all we are our own boss ladies and gentlemen we don't have to call nobody i mean we, we're gonna make less money of course that's the only unfortunate part but as long as we are investing and saving our money it shouldn't it shouldn't be an issue now let's oh see i'm in a dead end all right i will get with you guys 
in a few with the final numbers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day. We only did Instacart and on Instacart we made $100.16. I am happy with the $100 because we started late and we only did Instacart. We didn't have to multi-app, which is great. Another thing that I did was I didn't accept, even though I didn't see, I didn't see. It was, it was very surprising, but I told myself that I was only going to accept $12, $12 batches and higher. And it came in clutch, guys. I was I got a few 12, 13, 6, I got a few $16 batches, and I was able to get to hundred dollars super super fast. Tomorrow I'm gonna do the same strategy. I'm gonna but only for breakfast time. And then lunchtime, I'm gonna do food deliveries. I don't think I'm gonna go back to downtown. I'm gonna stay in the Publix that I usually go to. And this Publix, I am going to do 12 the same. I'm gonna try the same strategy, $12 orders and higher. I noticed that if it pays $12, then the customer paid a percentage tip. If it's $10 or $11, then that means that the customer gave a flat tip of like two or three bucks. But if you gave a percentage tip, then usually those tips are higher because it's a percentage of the order total. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow for breakfast time. I'm gonna accept $12 orders and higher to see if maybe that makes a difference. Uh, so that's gonna be on the next video, so stay tuned. But if you made it to this video, to this journey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you wanna watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe. But my people, have a good day. Keep hustling out there. Stay safe and let's go.